See this yin yang here? You know what it represents? The white and the black. Corona light and Corona extra. <laughs> it's that bad these days. It's that bad. Hey guys, welcome to the new official studio of B Man JJ2 Comedy. I got uh, this nice shower protecting me from uh, everything and anything. I got this nice toilet paper roll for reasons I won't get into. And I got this bar of soap. I just dropped the soap. Oh shit. <laughs> Alright, so, anyways, there's a whole outbreak right now at this point while I'm filming of something called the coronavirus. If you don't know what the coronavirus is, you can Google it. If you don't know what Google is, you can Google that too. This is a commodity right now. New York State, if you have establishments that usually house over 500 people, they're just closing down, so everything's crazy. We're living in the new Black Plague, and people are flipping their shit. And um, it, it, it's a scary time for some people. It is, it is. And uh, I, I, I got the anxiety, butterflies. My friend Scott did, my friend Tony did, so we decided to band together, find our own quarantine area, and we decided to go to Montauk, the farthest area in Long Island, just to escape. And we had a pretty good time. I'll show, I'll show you some clips. We went by the beach area, some trails. You, you check it out. So, um, we're here for uh, Scott's rock collection. I needed some stones, Luigi. This is, this is how uh, cool people get stones. They collect rocks here. Boys, you see that? It's the heart of Corona. It's closed. Corona got to the gift shop. Guard dogs? Dogs are allowed? I'm a dog person. I could totally go in. I have a pit bull. I have seen some shit. But no drones. No drone. I have a pet drone, so... You know, ever since the coronavirus, they made these rails here. So you don't interact with, like, sick people in the street. Very smart, what Montauk did. Very smart, dude. Montauk. <laughs> Please tell me you got that. Have a nice day. You too. Peace and love. Ringo. You just go, peace and love. Peace and love. And that will make my heart sink. I know, I'm a boomer at heart. Ringo's not going to cancel his concert. He care He's a germaphobe. He's totally going to cancel his concert. Yeah. I, there, he is. He got like, like, a, like a life threatening disease as a kid and after that he's like peace and love I mean I won't touch you with but I, I mean love I won't show it but I love you oh, He must be freaking out he can't get hand sanitizer anymore. Well on his Instagram you'll never tell he had like a, a picture of him in, as a statue with a mask and he's like peace and love You don't know what that means Is there a Ringo translator? What does he say? What does his many peace and loves mean? He has different emojis where it's like peace, sunglasses, a rhino for some reason. I don't get this guy. A rhino? But well, I he do. Has a big nose. Because he has a big that's why, yeah. Either way, we're all gonna catch the coronavirus, so it doesn't really matter where we go. <laughs> so my boy Tony the Tiger over there said we're gonna go through the grass. So if we get ticks and Lyme disease, it sure is better than the coronavirus. Lower killer than the coronavirus. It is, so you can enjoy life a little more. Maybe go to a Ringo concert if it's not canceled. Who knows? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Jump for me, baby. There we go. What the fuck is that? I got uh, two of my uh, only YouTube fans following me. I'm very honored. Check the ticks or no? I guess you might as well. Tick! Tick! Someone do the tick <laughs> dance. I don't know. <laughs> He's a really big fan of the tick on Netflix, on uh, no, Amazon. Ticks? I know. They, they fucking fear the coronavirus. They're not gonna be out. It's like, it's winter, dude. So as you can see, we were having a gay old time. But uh, we there, there's fears, obviously. Very steep cliff areas. It's sort of like in The Lion King with Simba being held on top of the cliff. Or like, you know, Michael Jackson with his son Blanket. but instead of being held up by a nice baboon or a pedophile man, we didn't have any of that support. So honestly, we were probably safer with the coronavirus. But we continued on, we continued on. 
look at this, guys. This is like suicide heaven. Look at these surfers. Right one right here, Brandon. <laughs> you got your... <laughs> uh, we get it, guys. You played SpongeBob Surf and Skate on the DS growing up. You're really cool. It's still winter. There's the coronavirus. Why are you surfing? You see me walking towards the edge? You see me? This is like, this is how it feels to live with the coronavirus. This is how it feels, buddy. Heart's pounding a bit. I know. I love it. I love it. It's a UFO. Look at this. Yeah, they used to land fucking uh, uh, aircraft. Is that an alien sign right there? I'm zooming in a little bit. What does it say? It's pink. It kind of looks it's like either for on. breast cancer awareness or aliens. No in between. <laughs> Alien titty cancer. <laughs> we have it too, humans. Why is everyone pointing? Are they shaming someone? What do you guys see over here? These are two birds. I right see here. birds, but yeah. Two birds. Yeah. birds. Three very trusting. I'm not sure they see anything. All right, so then let's go back. <laughs> you fool, there's no going back. Get back to watch. Fill up your water bottles. <laughs> or, or take a pee pee, whatever you want to do in that puddle right there. I don't know. I want to do a little swim. The plank? That's tempting. If I was a Buddhist monk and I had like no shoes on, I'd get splinters on here. But I'm a pirate, so it doesn't affect me. <laughs> Scotty, how you doing behind me? Oh, I'm always doing great when I'm behind you. I do squats. <laughs> he knows it. He, he can see Boys on the beach. Beach of the boys. <laughs> I don't trust this bridge at all. It's like a, a xylophone that a five-year-old made. Just want to see if Scott's okay. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> you want to cough some more? You can stay over there. Corona free. <laughs> Just enjoying the view. Enjoying life while we still have it. <laughs> this guy's right on the edge right there. I'm really worried for them. One wrong fart and the whole thing collapses <laughs> and they all die. Forget about the corona prayers. Just pray for these guys. They're, they're, they're at real risk, okay? Oh my god, that's really steep. Oh yeah. Oh boy. Look, and those rocks would clearly oh. impale you. Wow, that was that was the worst thing ever, kids. Wood chips, fellas, nature's candy. We can make um wood angels in these giant piles of wood chips. We made our way to some historic sites. Me as the obnoxious tourist, I didn't really care much. I just goofed around a bit and we explored a bit. Oh, they opened the gate for us. What does it say? Camp Hero State Park. What if you're a villain? Would they close the gate? <laughs> These are deep questions. You know what this gravel path reminds me of? You ever see the the Imagine video by John Lennon? It's like John Lennon and Yoko walking on gravel for like two full minutes. So if you want to show people the Imagine video, they're like, "Where's where the fuck is the song?" Look, look at this building. What is it? I'm not even looking at the billboard. I'm just mesmerized by this building. The building is close. I mean, obviously, right? Look at this guy. Looks like he served ice cream for 50 years and <laughs> forgot how to smile. Oh, bye. <laughs> is that why this place is closed? The ice cream factory? The ice cream man went you home. You just don't like to finish, like, all <laughs> <of> his <laughs> There's a dude up there. I don't give a fuck. How'd he do it? What's his secret? Do you believe in magic? I do now. I do. Is he a jumper? No. He's a jumper. All right, history major. Give us the facts here. Well, yeah, that was, that was gonna be the extent of his. What? Yeah, it's an air base. Air base. That was it? Military base. I'm assuming. And this is a base. Like Why are there rocks up there? What are they? Is that weapons back in the day? They threw rocks at the Nazis. That's right. Look at this hippie. Perfectly good bench. This is how um, <laughs> people in the 1970s danced. That's right. Besides having sex with each other in the grass, they would do this. Probably, or it's probably in a bale of hay. Do a Fortnite dance. A Fortnite dance? Yes! <laughs> 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 
<laughs> we made our way on some sort of road. I didn't know where we were. It's almost like a map or a GPS was a thing of the past. Or we were just too lazy to look up where we were, so I decided to turn back. So miraculously, we all got our license revoked, so now we have to walk on the road instead of drive like normal people. It's uh, the coronavirus is in the car, so we're, we're smart people. We the purposely got our license revoked. The coronavirus revoked. originated from cars. In cars, the from movie. the cars, from cars too specifically, the weakest Lightning cars film. Lightning had the first case of coronavirus. Spider-Man, Spider-Man, does whatever a spider can. We made it back to the rock where we heard Beach Boys, a speech voice. We came full circle. You know what that means? I think we're ready for the coronavirus. We probably all. Have. So what do you like? Smoke it, inject the coronavirus. How do you do this? What is this guy? What do you see? A cross? Don't compare yourself to Jesus. You're not John <laughs> I'm Leonard. Bigger than Jesus, Jewish. like the Beatles. So much, for, so much for Judaism, Scott. We gotta, we gotta get rid of that. How do I unbrisk myself? It looks like you could slide down though. Like, it's a path. Someone probably did. See they. They missed all the jagged rocks. They missed all of that and they slid down safely into rocks. <laughs> <laughs> How does someone do that? <laughs> you never know. Were they diving from this? Were they skydiving? Yeah, I'll show you. <laughs> Hi, this is uh, Brendan. Welcome to my ASMR video. So I'm gonna film waves. Hopefully they're gonna make some beautiful sounds that will uh, please your ears to uh, full eargasm mode. Hope you enjoy. So this dude didn't want to get sand in his feet. So he got tons and tons of rocks. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, is your, is your thinking cap on tight enough, buddy? Oh, I love nature. Oh, oh I love nature. Oh, I love nature so much. <laughs> Scott, I drew this for you. It's your red hair. Me love it. <laughs> you take it home and show life. So then profound happened. I decided to write a message on some rocks. A message of love and togetherness. And I wanted people to see it just to show that, you know, it's going to be okay. And uh, someone cares out there. So this is the message I wrote. Look, Father, I made a message with my crayon. I want this to stay for millennia. You know, people go rock climbing, but with the coronavirus, it's probably canceled too. We decide to go rock hopping. It's a thing now. We made it a thing. Let's make it a trend. Hashtag rock hopping. Come on, guys, get on that. Well. One, you fool! One, two, three. Whoa! Alright, let's go. Were you not scared? I'll let Scott take my hand, I'll catch you! Oh, we're actually doing this. We're actually doing. Don't pull me. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> the love of God. That'd be a very bad idea. So finally, we decided to reflect on the beach a little bit. And I decided to reflect and I'm gonna end this video with a, a few serious kind words because honestly at the end of the day you just need to chill a little bit. It's gonna be okay. We've been through so much as a species and the coronavirus will not be the death of us. I know I joke all the time but this is peaceful. Sometimes amidst all the chaos of the panic of the coronavirus or whatever the pandemic is happening this week. Just take some time to appreciate life and what you have. It's beautiful. So, I'm sure, a body of water isn't that far from you, so take time to enjoy it. With that, peace.